Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you live in the part of the world. Thank you very much for clicking this, for clicking the video link and come to watch my reviews. The today's games are uh, Kickass Commandos, Conan Exiles, Rust, and Deceit. Um, now I'm not going to be playing these games, but I'm just going to show you the videos from the Steam Store pages. Please do enjoy them. Um, but I'll do them as I go and then they give you a review. So here's the first one. 20 seconds of this one. Yeah. I'm ready. Okay, right. Now... I did do a recording before, but I forgot to I showed the screen. Um, also, I forgot to mention beforehand for the future games. I will show, put links at the bottom of the, uh, of the video for you uh, in the description for you, or for you. The next three games will have will be. I think all these will be recommended for eighteen plus. It's my personal opinion. The other three would definitely be eighteen plus because there's language in them. Uh, one game will have, I'm going to say, you can have full Monty shown or not. Um, and there's just lots of swear words and there's lots of violence. Last game I'll be showing you will have, has got a voice chat. The voices are toxic. So I advise you monitor your children on those directly. This game, however, is not my float, does not float my boat. Space Invaders kind of game. It's not my type of game, but there may be others that like it. So I, for me personally, I'm going to give it a five out of ten because I like the music. The music's brilliant. Best fit, no. So that's that one. The next one I'm going to show you is the uh, one moment. Let me get it up there. Um. Oh shit! Right, that one. That one. Right. Next one I'm going to show you is Conan Exiles, which is uh, here. Uh, now again, there is probably lots of there's lots of uh, porno stuff in here. Sorry to say the word. Sorry YouTube. Please don't ban me for that one. This is, I'm only saying what about this game. You can have the full Monty for your character, or you can ha um, on your first or. Obviously, that only affects your gameplay. So, if I was to say join someone else on this, and I had the full Monty, they got half Monty, only I would see it. Okay. Um, so, this is, again, this is recommended for 18+. plus. I'll give you, show this video quickly. 20 seconds worth. Um, again, actually, I'm going to show you the next one, because this one is probably a bit out of order. So, 20 seconds of this one. Enjoy. I'll let this one play right through. Okay, right. That is now. I played this game. I got nearly 360 hours in this game, and I love it. I really do love this game. It's similar to Ark, but it's not Ark. Conan, Ark, in my opinion, uh, are brilliant games. They both got similar features like building, que um, like the tar uh, quest, like good doing the caves or bosses, um, surviving the winter, as I just said. And you can also join friends of, you can either have a PvE, PvP. Both games is also, you can play single player mode on your own. Or you can just join friends. Obviously this game is up for 
Currently at the time of this video, or date of this video, it's £33.99 UK pounds. Um, you can, this is for the standard edition. You do have the DLCs pack, which you're looking at £100 for. Okay. Um, that's what you get. Obviously, they're not needed, but they are brilliant. So, if you've got just a word of warning though, that if you do, if you go with friends and they got all the packs um, and they're going to make you an armor for one of these, you can't use it, it does not work. You will not be able to equip it unless you've got the same DLC. Um, Arc is a little different in that respect, so Arc you can still do the same with Arc. Um, the so obviously the DLC is a range from $17.99 or should it be $8.99 to $17.99 UK pounds. Um, you will need a good PC for this as well. Um, so do bear that in mind. Um, but it's a brilliant game. I fully recommend it to everybody else. Uh, marks out of 10. I'm going to say 10. The whole thing's brilliant. The graphics are great. The keyboard, because it has keyboard, it has, I think it also has con Steam controller support, I believe. Uh, I'm not too sure. But so again, it's a single player mode. It's an action, adventure, ma multiplayer, RPG, simulator and strategy. Again, and it's by Fancom. And you can visit the website, which is um, conanexiles.com. So I fully recommend this game, I really really do. If you just want to build, let your imagination go wild. Um, uh, yeah, so and I, I hope you enjoy that game. Um, so again, kids, if you're going to have your kids play it, monitor them please. Configure the settings so they don't see any private parts. Um, because you, you do have the full Monty option on there. I think the default when you're first user, you don't have the full Monty enabled. Uh, but just bear that in mind, check it before your children go on it. But it's good for the kids to have a little adventure because they can let their imagination and building wise go as well. So the next one, next one up is, this one is, right, Rust. I'm going to, now, this one I have, where is it, it's disappeared on me, it's disappeared. Uh, now this one again is a different, similar to Daisy, Ark, Conan, and also Seven Days to Die. Also Seven Days to Die is another good game as well, but I'm not covering that at the moment. Rust is like a building game. It's by uh, Face Punch Studios. It's a, I believe you can do single, no you can't do single player mode, I'm not too sure if you can. But it's a multiplayer game. These are optional, you don't have to have these, obviously you can get them. Uh, the whole game, the standard game is £30.99 UK pounds. The DLCs are, uh, well, £14.38 UK pounds in total. Uh, but these ones you can buy in-game, for in-game items extras from the Steam store. I say if you want coloured, I don't fully recommend it because they're only trying to make more money off you. you the weapons in game are brilliant. They are just brilliant. They're just good. They're good enough for what you need in game. Um, and what I can make out doesn't matter the quality of the weapon. You still get the same amount of resource, same amount of quality, duplicity within the game. Again, I've not played this game for long, so I'm not fully up to date. It's a it's a survival crafting multiplayer. And an open world uh, where's the other one and an RPG adventure uh, indie so I fully recommend this one from what I've played a bit so far let me give you let me just show you this video I'll do 20 seconds of this video enjoy oh wait 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 no. we're gonna go with that one don't want that one I'll, I'll let you see this one, do 20 seconds of this one, I'll see this one, video of one of one. I'll do another one as well along here, then you can get the general idea of what it is. So this one you can get cars, you can customise the vehicles. Uh, you'll have to get the vehicle, I think they're scattered throughout the maps, 
when you go on multiplayer, I'm not too sure. Um, you can mount lots of them. You can extend them. You can lift. You can use the lifters. You've got engine components and so on, so you can repair them. Okay, so enough of that one. Like right, this one. You've also got helicopters as well. You've got hammers and whatever else in there. But again, um, you can play it with friends on this one as well. But I'm going to say 9 out of 10. There's a lot more work to it that, that I think. It's sort of like similar to armoured as well. Because you get to uh, fly with friends. Alright, so I, but I do recommend that one. Um, whereas this one... Yeah, I recommend it anyway. So I hope you do too as well. Okay, so the next one is on the list is and last game at not least is Descent. No, sorry, Decent. <coughs> um, Deceit. I worked this out. This is similar to Dead by Daylight. I've had a little go. This is a game that has toxic voice chat. I do not recommend it for children under eighteen. I'm sorry parents but I do not recommend it for children this is more for the 18 year olds there's lots of blood there's lots of glory uh, if you play, play Dead by Daylight you like Dead by Daylight like Dead by Daylight you'll like this game um, it's not it's a free to play game as well um, so you might play a free to game uh, horror co-op and FPS it is, there's a lot of horror there, there's a lot of, obviously for, I've only played it for about 5 minutes, I didn't goddamn like it. Uh, Dead by Daylight, however I do want to try, but I might try this one one day, not yet. Uh, so let me just show you, I'm just going to show you, because there's lots of violence and all that, I'm just going to show you this one. Again, there's swear words in this one, beware, there might be swears. So enjoy this 20 seconds of this video. were stacked by the tree with care but not one considered life's never fair blackouts are inevitable the game master said this fact alone should fill them with dread they laugh and cheer in safety it may seem but when the lights go out all they'll do is scream Okay, we're not going to go any further uh, because there's a lot of blood and glory on that one. But just by the screenshots, that's what you're looking at. Okay, um, but it's a similar to Dead by Daylight. This game. I'm going to give this one at the moment a five, uh, two out of ten. This my, again, it's my opinion. It's similar to Dead Die by Daylight. Although I want to try them both, but two out of ten at the moment because of the horror. I don't like a lot of horror stuff. It's not my kind of cup of tea. Okay, so there you go. That's my personal opinions. Um, so again, now the four games I have done today, I will put links to the bottom of the video in the description. No bad comments, please, because I they will not be welcome. Or, or no naughty comments. If you like this video, click the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications for when I upload more. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll tell you then. Oh, and also, I will be doing four more games, which will be Yet Another Zombie Defense, Cooking Witch, Prevent the Fall, and Tech Wars Online 2. Until then, bye bye, guys. Thank you very much for watching.